Whether it's school, work, a coffee shop, or even your friend's house, keeping track of all those Wi-Fi passwords can be tough. Sure, your laptop remembers the password, but what if you want to connect your phone or a tablet too? Here's how to find the password you're looking for. The first time you connect to a Wi-Fi network on a Mac or a Windows PC, both the network name and password are stored. That's why your computer is able to automatically connect to the network the next time you're in the area. So if you need that same password to connect your phone or tablet, you can easily find it in your computer's settings. I'm going to show you three different ways to find the password to a network you've used before. If you're on Windows, you can skip ahead using the chapter markers below. But first, let's get started finding passwords on a Mac. Whenever you enter and save a password on a Mac, it's stored in Keychain Access, the password management system for Mac OS. To start tracking down those missing passwords, use the search feature to open the Keychain Access app. Once you're there, in the System Keychain section on the left-hand side, click on System. Click on Passwords at the top of the window, find the Wi-Fi network you want the password for, and double-click on it. And then check the box next to Show Password. You'll probably be prompted to confirm you have permission to go digging around like this, so enter your password or use Touch ID if you have it. You may also need to enter an administrator's name and password as well. Luckily, I am one. Once you've cleared the security screening, the password field now shows the password you use to log into that Wi-Fi network. Now you can enter that password into your phone or tablet and get that device connected to Wi-Fi too. And if you're using an earlier version of macOS, your Keychain Access app will look a little different, but the info is all in there. There are two different ways to hunt down a password on Windows. The first one requires you to be connected to the Wi-Fi network in question to find the password. To begin, search for the control panel. Then go to Network and Internet, and Network and Sharing Center. In the Active Network section, find the name of the network and click on it. In the Wi-Fi status box, click Wireless Properties, and then on the Security tab. Finally, check the box next to Show Characters, and there it is, the Wi-Fi password. Like I said, that method works if your Windows laptop is currently connected to the Wi-Fi network you want to use with another device. There is a way to find the passwords to any of the Wi-Fi networks you've connected to with your Windows computer, even if you're not on it right now. There's an easy way to find a list of every Wi-Fi network stored on your Windows computer. First, we want to open up a command line using the Command Prompt application. You can also use Windows Shell Admin or Windows PowerShell Admin, whichever you prefer. Next, enter this string of text at the command line, netsh wlan show profile, and hit enter. You'll see a list of every Wi-Fi network you've connected to with this computer. I haven't taken this laptop many places, so I only see two, but you may have many more to choose from. Once you find the network you want, type this in at the command line, netsh wlan show profile, same as before, then quote the Wi-Fi network name and end quote. Then key equals clear and hit enter. You should now see a bunch of settings for profile, connectivity, security, and cost. But of course, we're looking for the Wi Fi network password, which we'll find right here under security settings next to key content. And now, if you're ever within Wi Fi range of my DJI Osmo camera, you can hack into it and take control. Good luck with that. That's all there is to it. Now you can be the savior of the cafe when someone sits down next to you and asks you for the Wi-Fi password. For more info on keeping your personal password safe, head on over to CNET.com and check out the best password managers to use and nine rules to follow when creating a password. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.